I like mussels because they're fleshy, salty, they come from the sea, they're good, they're natural, they're tasty. I love mussels because it's New Zealand native food, it's good for you, it's high in all the right things and gives me heaps of energy to ride my Suzuki. I love mussels because the swimming larvae attract to biofilms and exudates of monospecific marine bacteria. I like mussels because they can move by attaching and reattaching their bristle threads. Incredibly diverse neuroethologies. One of the things that I find fascinating about mussels is that we can see them at the, in the stores and they look edible and very interesting, but for me, the most fascinating thing about these individuals is that they have a really, really complex life cycle. The New Zealand green lip mussel industry is the largest seafood industry in the country with over $200 million per annum in revenues. So it's a very important industry for this country. It's very important that we continue to foster that industry and look after it. And the way we can actually separate ourselves from other countries that produce mussels is by providing biotechnological research that sets us apart from the rest. What we're trying to find out is, you know, how we can optimise the settlement of mussels onto the ropes for aquaculture is sort of the, the simplest goal we have. The more interesting questions were the more complex interdisciplinary questions and for that we needed to have a team of experts from different disciplines that could contribute to the overall picture of this research. We're making huge progress. With, uh, identified several chemical and biological products of biofilms that induce larvae to settle on particular substrates and we have been trialing some of those products in a, a more commercial setting. Well I think the Aquaculture Biotechnology Group is fairly unique in the university system because what we've got there is a bunch of academics who are supervising a group of students in a collegial way. It's usually that academic um, working on their own with their students. It's not all that common for groups of academics to work together as a team and to supervise students as a team. Um, yeah, so that's actually quite unusual. So what the students gain from all of that is that they have access to a um, much wider pool of knowledge and expertise than they would if they only had one supervisor. So for example, one of our students uh, t uh, Tim Young, who's been doing research on chemical cues, he has found several compounds that induce larvae to settle on filamentous substrates or, or other artificial substrates. I'm sure that you know that um, mussels don't have eyes and ears like the rest of us. Um, they have to rely on other methods to sense their external environment. So they sort of smell out molecules in the ocean and depending on those molecules um, it will cause them to behave in certain ways. I, I primarily look at uh, larval settlement behaviour from a free swimming organism in the ocean um, down to the bottom of the ocean uh, where they will stick onto substrates, rocks or seaweeds perhaps. Um, and I look at this particular transition and trying to identify different environmental factors which modulate uh, that behavior. It's lucky that we do something that's very applied and it's very exciting uh, so you can combine the interesting science with the application. On a simple terms I'm just making this bacteria as a sticky glue and that's gonna make Perna stick better. If we have proper biofilms coated on those ropes then muscles get to attach better and we can grow more muscles. So more muscles, more money for New Zealand. If we can do, use some of our inter, in, uh, technological advances or our research to uh, improve that uh, product in that way, it's going to mean lots of money for the industry and that's going to make it possible for the industry to continue to grow. I like mussels because they're planktonic villager larvae settle on rotified macroalgae, which then get dispersed into the areas where they recruit as marine invertebrates. Mmm! Yum! <laughs>